Former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords will be in New York Sunday to visit a gun show for the first time since she was shot in 2011. Giffords survived a mass shooting outside a Safeway grocery store in Tucson, Arizona, almost three years ago. Six people were killed in the incident, and since then, Giffords has become a tough gun control advocate. So why is Giffords touring a gun show? Giffords, her husband Mark Kelly, and New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman are going to highlight new safety measures. The Saratoga Springs Arms Fair is one of the largest gun shows in New York. And starting this year, organizers will use background checks after the state's AG put pressure on the groups to use them. Giffords and Kelly are also using the visit to push for a federal law that would require gun shows to use background checks during firearm sales. The New York Daily News reports all of the state's 35 major gun shows agreed to a code of conduct proposed by the Attorney General. Now Schneiderman's office will staff the shows to monitor compliance. We developed a model set of procedures collaboratively with the gun show operators, and I'm proud to say that since then every other major gun show operator has voluntarily signed on to these attorney general procedures. The visit by Giffords and her husband is just one of many efforts to encourage background checks for firearm sales. Back in 2012, Kelly started a gun control group called Americans for Responsible Solutions after the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Kelly told ABC the group has raised more than $10 million in the last 10 months. But pushing for stricter gun laws could be an uphill battle at both the state and federal level. In September, two Colorado Democrats were recalled because of their support for gun control legislation. Now opponents are trying to recall a third lawmaker for the same reason. And earlier this year, the U.S. Senate rejected a bill that would have required background checks at all gun shows, despite overwhelming public support for the legislation. The fight for stricter gun laws might have lost momentum since the Newtown shootings. A recent Gallup poll found 49 percent of Americans support tougher gun laws, down about 10 percent from December. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.